Hello everyone, welcome back to Me in the Toilet. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we walked, we watched Bendy walk through this world. We're really... Let's start the episode again. Hello everyone, welcome back to Alch's Plays. Bendy and the Ink Machine in the last episode. Bendy walked through that wall because we were hiding in that toilet and somehow that means Bendy can't see us. Which I'm okay with. We are going back to Alice, who is Susie. What if we could have shut the door? I'm guessing not. Uh, having... Uh-oh. Having um, destroyed a whole bunch of Bendy statues, which Bendy doesn't like, <laughs> as we guessed. And the Ink Demon has chased us down. We hid from him because that's how you beat a demon. And now we're going back to Alice to report how good we are so that Alice doesn't kill us. Back to the old grind. <laughs> what a gal. She is very friendly. She's, I, I very much appreciate what she's doing. Hello. No, it's gonna just be. Kill the butcher gang! Where are you? There you are. One by one? I think we're gonna have to do this. You are not helping! Go away! Why don't you let me have my. Oh, you missed. Axe! do that. I did hit him in the head and it did work and it did mean that I had enough time to recuperate. Right, so these are the losers that I've been watching. This is painful. I'm gonna die. Die. Oh, he managed it. I honestly thought that I was not gonna make that. <laughs> he managed to make it. Um, I've killed them all once already. So why does that count? I like the silence. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe she's just insane and thinks that. Oh, I can't leave any work unfinished. Fortunately, I have you to pick up the pieces. This, this dude is just standing in the elevator. Down, down, down Oops. The well, it's an archious episode. I have bashed the microphone. I don't know if you hear it, by the way. I, I lampshade it so that you know. <laughs> Sending you a little prayer. If you don't hear it, at least you know that I've done it. I want to be honest. I want us to form a, a trusting relationship. Is it a Tommy gun? It, it is a Tommy gun. <laughs> oh, come on. You knew that was going to happen, you minx. Starting to feel um, that Alice is not actually all that bad. I don't think she's got it in her to hurt me. You're going without me. These things came from here. I want to see if there's anything. Don't you dare. No, it's just a door. Still locked. Fine. And a respawn statue, as I'm going to continue to think of them. I don't know if that's what they are. I did respawn at one of them one time, so... I have previously respawned. I don't know if that's where I respawned when Bendy got me the first time, but there you go. I guess we're going down. Down, 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 down. You have to sing to keep the morale up because you have no idea what's around the corner and it's probably Bendy. So, like this pipe. Bendy pipe. Down, down. I have a heart. Could I have done that? I don't know. <laughs> what, I, what you should normally do is just always pick up things that look like hearts. Okay, so we did meet him again. His light doesn't look upwards. <laughs> That's where he must have gone when we first saw him. Probably a scripted event. But the, the, 
we have had one scripted bendy. I think the some of the some of the bendies we saw were not scripted, so that's nice. It means you never quite know. You should always know where the uh, I mean that's meal is coming from. But also you should always know. Do I dare step in this? Uh, where the nearest hidey hole is. I can't jump over this, so I have to step into it. I don't like the fact that it goes extra dark when we go down here. Seems okay. Oh, shite, sir. I was way out of his light. How dare you? It's got a very wide field of view. Makes me sad panda, because probably means you can see me on a balcony as well. <sighs> that's terrifying, but also didn't last long, so that's good. Is he just orbiting? By which I mean patrolling? I should be here. I can't run through this ink. I can't run for the best of times, you know. Luckily, the clipping on the light is not as good as it could be. It means I can see him coming in the ink even when he's on the other side of the wall. Ah ha ha ha! Game hacks. The ink is safe. It's not like amnesia where you have to keep out of that water. There's stuff here. But there's no way of reaching it. And it almost seems like you should be able to because you can't. Games, that's how it works. You can't get it from either side, which means you should be able to get to it. Headphones? Uh oh. Okay. Let's listen to this. That's a very creepy projection person. Apologise for the wobbly camera and my ball of my mouse thingy is being weird. We'll free it and I'll loosen it. Waiting for this projectionist to walk past. This is a point where we definitely have to make sure we know what we're doing. Here he comes. Right? <laughs> Everything went light, so I'm assuming that he's showing up. Because that is his thing. Light. I don't want you to suddenly be right behind me. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm expecting. How long is your patrol route? Second is not going somewhere different. Don't expect. We're just like these bendy devs. Bloody bendy bloody devs. You can't get down there, which means you should be able to. It means there's something there. Why would they do that to me? Go to the window. And well, now you're coming this way. That's cheating. Through the tulips. You keep going that way. I don't know if you can hear me or just see me. <laughs> don't buzz. The projectionist will hear you. Rick. <laughs> Turned around immediately. <laughs> I'm hoping the game is modelling his field of view, and it's modelling its. Uh... Ah! 
I can't run. I'm gonna get caught. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. This is very difficult. <laughs> oh dear. Does he have to stay in the ink? Is that what I'm learning? Don't turn around and check behind you this time. Freaking loser. Crikey. I'm terrified again. Thank you, game. I thought I was doing well. Whew, we made it. Right. Keep walking faster than him, and we'll be fine. We might have to hide in here at some point. Dark. I don't like it. Lots of projection going on around the place. Hoping you'll be able to see him coming. What am I getting here? Five ink hearts. Okay, so I was supposed to pick that up. Even though it caused horrible screaming sounds. Maybe it woke him up in the first place. That would make sense. <laughs> I was thinking, hey, a portaloo. I wonder where the projectionist is. Turns around. Help. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Is that him walking? He's not facing this way. He might be about to... He's really good at turning the corner as soon as I need him not to. He's not around here. I don't know what he can see and what he can't see as well. That's the trouble. Also wondering if he's attracted by me picking these up. Let's get back into this thing. Yep. Now. <sighs> Pretty much guaranteed that he is gonna turn up when you pick a heart up. Okay? So we'll learn that. Remember that. Let me have a bit of water while he disappears. thing is, it's not even safe to be behind him. Because he has been known to just turn the hell around. At least you can hear him. He does make noises. And like, noticeable noises. On that way. We'll go this way and hope that we don't see him on the way back. <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> I'm very impressed with this level, just as I was impressed with the earlier levels, where a lot of the game was just silence and things to avoid. Uh, I saw him, but I don't know if I should wait here. Yes, I think I should. So as long as you're not in the ink, you're alright. I'm wondering if you can climb on tables and stuff. I, I thought that, I don't know if I said that. I am getting back to the point where I'm losing my mind. <laughs> so that's good. Three episodes of Bendy and that's all my my poor psyche can take. It's such a good effect as well. The fact that it's projecting an actual screen, a square of light ahead of it. I probably shouldn't walk in the opposite direction to it, but at the same time, it keeps changing direction anyway, so what the hell am I supposed to do? Holding shift has no effect. I need to explore in order to learn where the portaloos are. I want to learn how to hide. 
But when I do find a blue, uh, uh, a heart, a blue? What have I been doing that involves searching for blue? She inevitably comes for me. She inevitably comes for me. Aha! Told you. Um, I can hide. Hmm. <sighs> Chill out. <laughs> what, are you, what are you freaking out for? What are you crying for? I hear no projector, man. He has a name, you know. Yeah? What would name would that be? Freaky guy with a weird head. Which way are you going? Probably this way, because it's the only way. So let's get in here. Real quick. Now that I've got the hang of this, I think I'm calming down a little bit. <laughs> but not really. So... Where did you go? Somewhere else. You're not just walking into the wall like Bendy did, are you? That's not allowed, so don't. I'm guessing I can hide in these spaces, but I'm not sure. Because they are in the ink. Which is currently my best heuristic to... As to how to escape. Find a spot that's not in ink, like those. Maybe climbing on a table, I'm not sure. And wait for him to stop chasing you. <laughs> Here you are. Um, so I must have missed something. Because I'm outside again. There's like two left to find. I've only got four. There's one left to find. That's the worst. The worst number to look for. It's probably far away from safety. Every now and then, my mouse does not work. <laughs> very infrequent. Very rare. Nevertheless. Very frustrating. Very, uh... Ooh. Get in there! Now! Found it! <laughs> so it, it does attract him, but if he's further away than that, you have a little bit more chance of getting away. Ranuka's going to be more erratic now and start turning around and stuff. Why'd you have to live down here, man? i will clonk you on the head. I guess you are made of projectors. I'm hearing gloopy noises that I don't remember hearing before. I'd like for you to just not be there. Right. You did turn around one time when I was there before. A little bit worrying. Yep. He's done it again. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. still chasing me? No. I'm guessing you won't look up here simply because I'm not on the ink up here and therefore it's fine. Hello? Bang! Ooh. I was wondering if you could make a noise and it would attract him. <laughs> well, we made it and I'm only nearly dead on the inside. <laughs> Last time when I finished playing, I just... I went downstairs and I and Jen was there going she was just on on her computer in front of the TV. And luckily the lights were on. I'm playing with the lights off again, by the way. Much like you would play Doom 3. 
in the original one and you know doom 2016 as well and all that not always on time because um, it's correct i suppose it only took us 20 minutes to do that Whew. are we all happy um, and I just sort of, well, I went downstairs and I just sort of stared at her. I'm like, that was horrible. It's so good. Okay, don't kill me. Good. So now the demon side will be open, I assume. To the surface. You're letting me out. I don't know if I mentioned this because I think I only learned it. Only learned it. Um, after the end of the la of the third episode, but are you going to take me there on my own? Um, they're making a new one for 2020, the second Bendy. It'd be great to get through this, and then we can have a look at uh, getting hang getting a hold of Bendy too. Hopefully, it's it's uh, I'm hoping it's different. More of the same would be good, especially if it's of the same quality. But the things that are happening are kind of done. Why are you crying? Why are you laughing? You're going to drop me, aren't you? Please tell me what's happening. Hold it. Am I Henry? Am I Henry? Too, too, too good to be true, right? Why did you even let the Boris be on the thing? It's okay, bro. I'm up. Behind you. Boris. Seriously. I unlocked an achievement called the Path of the Angel, which you can't see because it doesn't pick up Steam achievements. I'm guessing if you play it again, we'll learn what the path of the devil is. All right, Joey. Or you get to do both paths. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Chapter four. Well, uh, it's not a perfect uh, cut. Level S. It's a special level. This is an S level game. Um, I I lost my what? Probably my pipe should be around here somewhere. Why should I rescue Boris? Why is this one special? Surely any of them could have just helped me out. Surely he's not the last one. Maybe he was the only one. And the rest of them are all just sort of duplications of the original. And this is the original. That's why she needs his insides, not everybody else's insides. She's been going through them all. You hearing that? That's the sound of something walking around. Fairly sure. If we see... This person. All right, cool. Photosensitivity again. Um, I think that's just going to have to be a standing thing in this game because it's definitely something missing here. You're right. Um, oh, it's you. Uh, there's lots of flashing lights in these games. In, in this game so far. So. Well, it turns out management are just as insane as everybody else. I'm not picking that up because there's a blob of goo here. An achievement for this. I'm picking it up. <laughs> so the rituals that we saw early on in the game, I don't necessarily th know if they were done by a person like this. Um. 
Jabby, is that his name? The person who... The owner of the whole thing. Frank Cohen. Or... Sort of happen as a result of all the... Th they could have been done by the things created by the ink once the ink got flowing. Obviously, the ink machine and the ink are important. So they're going to connect it. Hit the secret passage. Not much of a secret if it's part of the... The people have been turned to ink. I mean, we knew that about... Stephen Murray? Oh. The, the, the conductor chap. Who first tied us down and thought that that was enough. And let us get away with a, <laughs> an actual axe. Instead of just not leaving it there. They told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely perfect. Is Joey. Now Joey's going around saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow. So he has an opportunity for me. Running out oh, of water. Yeah. I'm still very thirsty. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double cross an angel and get away with it. <laughs> well. Oh, he's got another thing coming. Alice? Ooh, she doesn't like liars. I'm gonna guess that the Bendy Demon is Joey. Because we had one person trying to be Bendy Demon, but he was just wearing a cardboard cutout. Alice is psycho. Psycho. Well, Alice is psycho. Alice's ego has made her. So that's how it works. I, I guess has become part of the machine, the, the ink machine, and produced an Alice, which is also because you can see that her um, her identity was strongly mixed <laughs> mixed up but with this Alice, which is a character. You know, this is sort of a, a delusion or possibly psychotic delusional thing going on here. So she has started to believe that she is Alice because Joey was calling her Alice in, at dinner. And she felt connected to the Alice character when she was first hired. And now someone else is hiring her. Colour! That was a bit of a thing. Um, then... You're not going to scare me off like that. That was just... A, this is going to sound like I'm bragging. That didn't actually make me jump. <laughs> um, it should have. And I think it's just because I was focusing on talking about um, Susie being mixed with her Alice identity. I'm half expecting there to be one out there. But... Um, and as a result of becoming so entwined psychologically with this Alice character, that when the ink flew, flew? flowed, uh, that was it. She she had the opportunity, she had motive, she had opportunity, and she had psychotic delusions, <laughs> which made her believe that she was a, a cartoon character, or at least the personality of one. Which to some extent, she was. It's strange because, of course, the writers it's them who would have given the character their actual. Style. And of course, we, we, I was saying before, and I don't think I finished the thought, we don't actually know what the characters were like in the cartoon. We haven't seen any apart from the few, uh, the abortive attempt to do the music puzzle. One more book, please. Bendy, are you hiding the book? I have to put one back? Nice. Easy peasy. Into the darkness. Into a rock band competition. So we don't know if Alice, the personality as a character in the show, is anything like Alice, the freaky angel. Like, was she petty and difficult and? Revenge driven and jealous. I can get across here if I can find a way to fix this. I would like to see the show. Because <laughs> presumably the Bendy character is not a demon. 
light. It's okay. It does sound like it's laughing at me though. You know, it, it could have been. <laughs> what was Bendy like? I don't know. I'm noticing nowhere to hide in this place. So. I need to go in there. This is how people become ink people. It's the 45 caliber pipe though. <laughs> like that. Oof. Pulling pieces off the demons to make them go away. If I could have done that, I wouldn't need the axe, you know? Oh. Fine. Gent. Let's make something. I see. Clock. Bone. What's wrong with the bridge? I'm guessing we need a gear, yes. Or the lever? Turn the handle. This is excellent. That's such a helpful thing. Also shedding light on the purpose of the ink machine. Because that was made of ink. And that machine turned ink into the thing that it could stamp out. So this, can, this is basically a 3D printer using that weird magic ink. Which means originally the ink machine was just a production line thing. I can, I can press the use button to move into it. Okay, it's moving itself. That's okay. I have no control over this. And no one's going to come along and sever this line or absolutely anything like that. What? Okay. Yep, this sounds like that bit in Doom 3 where we did exactly the same thing. Okay, just had a bit of a jam. Don't worry about it. You talk about what you expect, <laughs> and then it's not as bad as you expected. Then it's fine. And if it is as bad as you expected, you at least get to be slightly smug that you guessed right. So there you go. I did kick one of these off before, so I think it was designed to be allowed. Okay, good. I wonder if we could have made the other pieces. Hello! Fine. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look, friends. There's that thing again. That's the thing that went into the ink before. I see you there, my little errand boy. You're looking through these statues now. Your angel is always watching. Right up. What is it that keeps you going? Is it the thrill of the hunt? The thirst for your freedom? It's or the fact that it's only option is that I can quit the game. <laughs> Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. He was a friendly wolf, wasn't he? Basically, that's a dog. I don't think we're going to beat Angel. She could have just taken him apart by now. She doesn't have to brag. It's like Pratchett said, if you're going to face up against... If you have to face an, a good man or an evil man, pray it's a good man. He always bites me. Oh no. I just want to Oh my god. Where do we go? Pray it's a good man. Pray it's an evil man, because a good man will kill you where you stand. An evil man will brag. Um, starting to feel like this is a good place to end the episode. Might as well save it, put it in a toilet. <laughs> Seems like a good place to save. Bit of a longer one, but in by a couple of minutes, so thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying Bendy as much as I am being terrified by this horrible, scary game, which is amazing. And I hope that you're looking forward to the sequel in 2020, because I have no idea what they're going to bring to us. This has been uh, an excellent game so far. I hope that you're enjoying because I certainly am and I hope that you've enjoyed this episode because I certainly did until the next one. Thank you for watching and I will... I'll see you.